Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple code. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, class number 25, we learn how to use Google font and font awesome icon library in Next.js. How to use it? See that video also. In this video, we are going to learn how to generate static or dynamic metadata in Next.js. So first of all, we have to understand these questions also interview question what is metadata metadata is a data that is required by seo search engine optimization if you want to rank your website in google and you have to use a meta tag of html to rank your website to make your website searchable in google or other search engine it's called search engine optimization technique so with the help of metadata we can make our web page searchable and more informative the information that is required by the search engine remember that so metadata is information like keyword like author like viewports so many informations are available so many types of meta tag is available to use this like title description so these are the metadata information available within a web page what is dynamic metadata dynamic metadata means if you change the information or metadata information on certain parameters like route parameter url parameter and dynamically you generate those data as per the requirement as per the page you open that is called dynamic metadata remember that static means when you load your page and the data or the information for metadata is fixed you can't change but dynamic metadata means you can change or update the information as per the condition or the url or the setting you provide dynamically the information of your metadata change is called dynamic metadata for that we have a two technique in next.js first is metadata constant and second is generate metadata function so third question is what is the use of generate metadata generate metadata is a function that used to generate dynamic metadata in next.js the fourth question is how to change static or dynamic metadata information on every page using generate metadata or metadata so one by one we cover this how to use generate metadata and how to change static or dynamic information here so if you go to the uh, project here application and uh, i open layout you will see that in a layout we have this information export constant metadata remember that and the title of this is create next app and if you see in the output each and every page of this application have create next app if i go to home then we will have same create next app remember if i go to image there also I have create next app. If I go to font, then again I have a create next app. Why it is because we have making a setting here and each and every page we have same setting that is constant. So we can change it as per our requirement. So I'm going to generate this by dynamically or statically on every page. For example, this is my home page, remember. And this home page, I want to display Dr. Vipin classes for this. So here is a layout. And I make copy of this it's very very simple I'm using metadata here and it's a static way to change the data or information so here this is the layout remember and here we are using it above the function so same we have to use so about this function here I copy this and here I change it the name to dr. weapon classes remember and here I say generate by dr. weapon kumar save this and you will see that on home page this is a home page i go there and the title changed to dr weapon classes remember but on image or font it is create next app because it is designed in a layout you see we have design in layout we have layout this again in layout we have this title so in all the pages we will have this but on the home page because manually or statically we have changed this information but how to change dynamically that we are going to learn for example that i click on font here is a create next step but i want sometime it gave me title google font sometime it gave font awesome uh, on the basis of parameter or url which i pass here remember that that i want to do that for that this font i have to convert into 
uh, the route options remember that for that I rename this and I put it under like this I put it under this remember save this so now it is changed to dynamic crowds option fonts in place of fonts this is fonts is the uh, parameter name so under this I may have some change of URL for for that if suppose I say here Google font then it will have the same URL remember if I say font awesome font awesome like this then I have same but when I call it by font awesome the title should be changed to font awesome if I call to Google font then title should be changed to Google font that I want it means dynamically I want to change this information that I want to show so how we can do this so by using metadata constant it is not possible because it's a static way to use it dynamically we want to change so for that I need to create here function I say export async async and I say function name is generate metadata like this this is the function that required in this function we have two types of objects to receive a parameter so I take it param params and search params search params like this two types of we have it take the dynamic routes and it take the uh, the value which we change in the URL that received by this now here I say param dot fonts because name of this parameter which I have given it's a it's fonts so I say fonts equal to equal to equal to is Google font I say Google font and then I need to change so I say here if for example if this is there and then I say I create title here I say here let title and here I say by default I say title is doctor weapon classes remember by default is that but if it is Google font URL name is Google font then I say title is Google fonts else remember else I say title is font awesome like this I want to design or I can fix also if it is this else if I can say else if you see and here I can pass same setting I can do like this also and I say here if this value is font awesome and we do this otherwise we have by default this then I return the value remember and this return value is this object there I say title title is the title which I am passing here uh, then we have description description and that is I can pass anything I say doctor weapon classes video okay save this so we return this title like this so you see that we have set this dynamically if nothing is coming if other root is coming then by default doctor weapon classes if root name is google fonts then it will display google font if it is font awesome that it will display font awesome we see the effect here we by default we have we are on root folder i click on font remember that it is font so nothing is changed font is simple so title is doctor weapon classes so first one is working this condition is working now we go for other and here i say google font I say Google fonts you see if I pass Google font you see title change to Google font if I pass font awesome I say font awesome and you see title is changed to font awesome so dynamically we are able to change the title or metadata with the help of generate meta data function this is a search parameter by this also you can set so this search params is also useful but it's useful when you are passing some information in a URL for example I say that if search param I say here if the search param dot and I say font equal to or I say f equal to I say my fonts for example it's just example then title should be title should be I say my font example like this just a dummy so this search param we have a f parameter if this value is equal to equal to equal to my fonts then we do this so we check this also my fonts font awesome is coming 
you see if i am passing here my fonts as a parameter remember then this value is my font example you see i have put the condition if search parameter f is equal to equal to my fonts then you see the value it's f equal to my fonts now title is my font example remember if i remove this parameter and without parameter i pass that is font awesome so you see how simple and how dynamically we can change this metadata information in next years by using generate metadata so i cover each and every information interview information that is available in this ppt as a question i have selected these questions are most important for your interview purpose also so i explain you what is metadata what is dynamic metadata how to use generate metadata function and how to change static or dynamic metadata information using generate metadata and metadata that's all in this video if you like it if you learn something special from this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.